here's the truth. This is the reality. Nobody's going to believe in you until you've already done it. Nobody's going to come and celebrate with you until you've already done it. The work is going to come before the belief, which means you're going to have to work for a long fucking time by yourself with no applause, with no awards, with nobody telling you good job. And then once you start to build something and people start to see the momentum and they start to see the result and you start doing some things, then you're going to get a little belief. And then what's going to happen is you're going to believe. And then what's going to happen? You're going to go do a little bit more work and a little bit more work. The results are going to come more. More people are going to believe. Nobody fucking believes in you because you haven't done anything. Yet. That's the reality. You can think about it. You can wish for it. You can hope for it. You can fucking think all about it all as long as you want. But unless you get out every single motherfucking day and put in the work inch by inch by motherfucking inch, you will never get there. So I want you to think about that moving into 2022. And I want you to take the word hope and I want you to throw it on the motherfucking ground and I want you to replace it with the word I will fucking do in 2022 because that's the only chance you got. You see people who do big things and you automatically say, that guy's so lucky, she's so lucky. You don't know that, you're assuming that. Going to work every day for 20 years and grinding your ass off and then becoming a multi-millionaire, that's not luck. That's action and reaction. Quit using the word luck, quit believing in luck and start believing in work. Start believing in results that come from your actions. Your hardships, your challenges, your situation, will either be the reason you don't make it or it will be the story you tell when you do make it and you get to make that choice if you're struggling right now and you're having a hard time and you're pissed off and you're frustrated know two things one you're not alone two this is necessary for you to get where you want to go and if you quit if you falter, if you stop, all the pain will be for nothing. And you need to remember that. I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you were raised. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care about any of that shit. If you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, one plus one is always gonna equal two. Two plus two is gonna equal four. In 10 years of motherfucking work, when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend, is gonna pay off. You can do this. When you quit, your mind does this. When you quit, your mind says we're done. So it doesn't expand. There's no expansion when you quit. When you say F you, uh-uh, this sucks, I'm drowning, I'm miserable, I'm suffering, I'm broken, but I'm not going anywhere. What happens to your mind is it does this. It says, he's not leaving. So we gotta expand. We gotta grow. We gotta figure this thing out. So then these compartments in your brain, they have to work. And then you start to engage parts of your mind that you never engaged before. When you're in suffer mode and you say, I'm not gonna quit. You're forcing your brain now to operate on a level it's not used to, but then it becomes used to. It's unreal how much time you waste during the day. And most of it is on these computers, phones, you know, Instagramming back and forth, tweeting and texting this shit. We waste so much time on our little gadgets. It's unreal. And we talk about we have no time. You have to take your day and write down this one day. Everything you do, write that down. And you're like, my God, I am wasting so much time on frivolous bullshit that's not even funny. If it doesn't infuriate you, it should. If you want to be great, you want to be the best motherfucker ever at what you do, you can be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. It is. But if you want to fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you fucking do, you've arrived. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. The only way anything gets accomplished, you gotta work hard. I can't remember what the f**k's in this paragraph to pass this test to get in the military. Read it again. Still not getting it. Read it again. But if you're not getting it, write it out. And guess what happened? I got it. I can't swim. I'm negative buoyant. Go back again. I can't swim. Go back again. Go back again. Go back again. I got it. I realize if I keep going back and going back 
and going back, your mind will say, okay, we're gonna figure it out because he is not going to stop. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. This is what we do now. Because to get to where you wanna go, the amount of pain involved, the amount of mental pain, of how many times you're gonna have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go. There could be more times you do something that you don't want to do than you are going to do. And that's your new norm. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't want to live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. It's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be all this stuff people say. You got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off then you get balanced once you become great and it takes being obsessed to where people think you're crazy